Hi, Sharon Danley here with another two minute tip. This week it's about another approach to your curly or wavy hair that requires no pin curls, no hot rollers, no anything. Hey, I'm back from the gym. I have shampooed my hair and used Curl Keeper Original uh, in it and just put it through everywhere and also some of the Curl Keeper gel. So I'm uh, taking it because I'm taking a different approach this time. I'm not going to do the pin curls or anything. I'm just going to let it be as it is. I'm going to do my makeup and uh, get changed and when I get back in about 10 minutes or so I will blow dry my hair with a diffuser and that's going to be it. Okay, I'm back and my makeup is on and my hair has air dried to some degree turn around let you see again it's more waves than it is anything else and right here you'll see uh, as I've mentioned before I have an egg-shaped head well this this shows up even more now I'm going to blow this dry just to fluff it out a little bit but I'm also going to add my enhancements because I'm uh, I have a, an appointment this afternoon I'm going to use the hair bump it uh, with the extension just to lift it up and to give it a little bit more Oomph. Anyway, I will blow dry the first stage. Oh, and this is the uh, the hair uh, dryer diffuser that I use. It's just a simple everyday one. You know, nothing special. Just you know, there's all kinds. I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form for any product or any tools I use. Just wanted to let you know that too. Okay, so here I am halfway done and you can see how it's getting a little fuller. Here's a little trick for those of us with egg-shaped heads. Um, notice that when the part is higher, it accentuates the slope of the head. But if you make a deeper part, then you're combing over from one side to the other. It tends to camouflage that look just a little bit. Anyway, just wanted to bring that up. I'm going to finish blow drying. Be right back to you. And again, I'm blow drying with my head upside down. I put the dryer on the hair then after the, with the heat and then I scrunch it afterwards like this and I'm only using it on a uh, on a medium to cool uh, setting so that it's not too hot I'll be right back okay I'm back and it's finished blow drying now you can see it's got a lot more fullness in it but it hasn't gotten frizzy because the curl keeper keeps it from doing that and the trick is to let it air dry to some degree and when you diffuse you just just scrunch. Anyway, as I said in my other video about this, I can tell you right now it's going to lay flat er at the roots uh, probably within a half an hour because my hair is thinner and finer and of course when there's no bulk it's going to lay flat. So again I'm going to use my bumpet, my handy dandy little bumpet and an extension. I might use a couple. Here's another trick that I use for the sides if I want a part a little higher. To take away from that egg-shaped head look, I will just put an extension in, say somewhere about here underneath, and what that does is it helps to lift the hair on top, so it gives just a little bit of fullness in that area, plus it adds a little bit of volume to the hair. Anyway, let's let me see. Um, I'm going to turn around here. Don't disturb the curls too much. Like so. Back comb the root. Then I'm going to take my handy dandy bumpet and I've got two bobby pins that keep it in place. So I place it in the part, put a bobby pin with the teeth down going in on one side and then a bobby pin on the other so that it's nice and secure. Then I'm going to take my extension and place it above the bumpet, clip it in place, put my hair over top of it, and you can see how that gives lift. Right now I'm going to put one of those little extensions in. I'm going to put this piece over here. Then I, right here is, tends to be a bit of a flat spot for me. So I'm going to lift that up, back comb, take one of these little extensions, put it in there, 
and then put the hair over top and voila it gives me just that extra little bit of of uh, height that I need and I think I'm going to have to do the same in here as well it's another little spot that tends to well it's it's on the uh, the edge of my egg shape so put that in put an extension right there just a simple one let the hair fall down over top now that fullness because of those extensions uh, will last most of the day which is which is pretty good now again I can put a piece an extra piece in the back if I want to but you know I, I think it's okay now this is just a look that is uh, just the wave itself I haven't put pin curls I haven't done anything it's really a wash and go uh, so it gives another option now what I'm going to do is sleep on this when I sleep on this tonight I'll film again tomorrow morning show you I'm not going to put it in any pin curls or buns or anything like that I'm just going to sleep on it and uh, let it do its own thing and in the morning I'll show you what it's like when I when I wake up with it and all I'm going to do is spritz water through it and give the same approach with a you know a couple of extensions and lift at the roots and then I'll be good to go. Oops, almost forgot one more thing. If you find that you have played around with your hair too much and it's become just it doesn't have a structure to it or it may look like it's starting to get a little frizzy, just take your water bottle, spritz, and squeeze. spritz and squeeze sounds like a workout uh, regime anyway again simple and if you have like I said problems anywhere and it's just not looking the way you like just it just gives it like a lift when you just spritz and squeeze anyway again I'll see you tomorrow morning and to top the morning to you this is my hair the next day as promised. I didn't roll it, didn't put anything in it, didn't put a make a bun or pin curls or anything. So this is how it came out after I slept on it. Uh, you can, it's still got the wave, but it's flatter. Now, I could take this hair as is and I could do an updo, several different kinds of updos, but I'm gonna be wearing it down uh, to show you how it's very easy just to wet it and go again the second day. I'm loving this. So in the meantime, I'm going to um, enjoy my coffee and social media. Then I will get ready, get back to you and show you how I just add a bit of water, just to put in a few extensions and I'm good to go again. Okay, I'm back, showered, changed, and my makeup on. Uh, now, I'm, all I'm going to do to do my hair, I've done nothing with it, is to spritz it with water uh, and uh, kind of manage it, put it in shape, and go from there. So I'm just using this little spritzing bottle of water. See how that works? Run my fingers through. Spritz and press, spritz and press. Do you see how that brings the curl, or the wave in my case, back up to where it was? Actually, what I do uh, is just run my hands under the tap and uh, slough off the excess water and then just run my fingers through my hair and that does the job as well so let's see a little more here and a little more there and a little more everywhere I'm going to turn upside down and um, spritz I'll turn this off for okay, now okay I spritz the back and it's all set to go. Now I'm going to add my handy dandy hair padding and um, extensions just because you can see. See how flat, see how flat and it will get flatter but the curl it or the wave itself is fine. So what I'm going to do now is turn upside down. I'm going to strategically back comb my roots in various areas. One of them is right here along the hairline at the back and in through the sides here you 
See how that adds the fullness? Now I'm going to take the top, lift that away, back comb the root, and get my bobby pins here, place my hair pad, and now I'm going to take my handy dandy little extension, and by the way, I put waves in, these are human hair, and I put waves into them with a deep waver, which are available everywhere. I got mine, I think, at Walmart, uh, and I just deep wave these when I um, uh, uh, shampoo them out, and it's got pretty much the same kind of uh, wave as my own hair, so it makes it look more authentic. Okay, I'm going to place it in its spot above the bumpet, clip it in place, and throw my hair back. There. That gives my crown the lift that it will need, or that it does need, and will stay and for the day. And you can see in my profile how uh, raising the crown of my head helps to give um, a, f a fullness that is uh, lacking otherwise. Now like I did yesterday, I'm going to take a section right here where it sits flat and I have that egg shape. I'm going to just back comb that and put in this, one of these little extensions that's more like the color of my hair at the front. Cl clip that in and then put my own hair over top and it gives the lift I need. And because the extension isn't that thick, it doesn't uh, like stand out too much. Now over here I have the same thing on this side. Lift, back comb, and install and drop. There we go. Now I can, when this dries a little bit more, then what I will do is go back in and give any back combing that's needed in whatever area I need it in just to give the fullness. Uh, I may or may not use a little bit of spray and uh, there you go. Now it being a very hot day, I will most likely put a hat on or tie my hair up. But this shows you how without using any uh, curlers or pin curls or anything. It's just a wash and go. And yes, it requires a little bit of product and a little bit of management, but boy, it certainly isn't much. Just adding a bit of water. And no matter what hairstyle I would have, I would pretty much always use uh, some extensions, a little bit or a lot, and most likely uh, um, a hair bump it if I'm going out. And I am meeting a gal pal for uh, lunch today. So, um, you know, I'd like to look my best. And, uh, but again, it's, it's just easy. So I hope that helps with uh, taking your hair, whatever stage your curl is in, and uh, seeing if you have a sort of an even distribution of curl, wave, or whatever it is, and how we can, uh, we can augment it. And here's the trick, ladies, too. Oftentimes we think we need more curl in our hair, when in fact what we really need is just lift. And lift at the roots is where it happens, and it doesn't have to be all over just in the areas that work best for your face. Well, I hope that helped. Just another approach to curly or wavy hair, whether you have lots or you have little. A fast, easy way to, uh, to manage your hair in ways that still look great without too much fuss. And speaking of hot weather, here's that same curly hair just put up in one little clip for a very hot day here in Toronto. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Fast, easy, and oh so chic. We'll see you next time.